The first step is remove your old nail polish. I'm going to be using a nail polish remover and the one I'm going to be using is from Zoya. I like this one a lot because it has a twist cap. It's very easy to use. You're just going to twist it and you're going to use a round cosmetic pad and then you're going to press on it about two times and you can use this to remove all of your old nail polish on all of your nails. Step number two is cutting and filing your nail. I won't be cutting my nails for this video, but I will be showing you how I do it. What I will be doing is filing my nails. Try to avoid a seesaw motion. This not only weakens your nails, but it also damages them. Always file your nails in only one direction. There are many different ways to file your nails. There's the square, round, oval, or pointed. Choose your nail shape that best suits your fingers. Oval shape is the most common. This step is optional, but you can use a nail buffer to remove all of your ridges on all of your nails. I bought this nail buffer at Sally's Beauty Supply. Step 3. Soak nails in water. In a bowl I put some warm water and then I'm going to be adding a few drops of dish liquid soap. I then added some more water with pressure that way it made these bubbles. I'm going to be placing my hands in the warm water for about 15 minutes. Dry your hands very well with a towel. Step number four, cuticle. 
I'm going to be using this conditioning cuticle remover from Essie. I'm going to squeeze a generous amount onto each cuticle of my nails. Quickly massage this onto all the cuticles of your nails. To remove the cuticle, you can do this with your nails and remove the excess. You can also use a cuticle remover stick like the one I have here. inside of your nails you can grab a brush like the one you see here. I, this one's from Echo Tools. You can also use like an old toothbrush. Scrub your nails very well with a brush to remove any dirt. Step 5. Rinse and hydrate nails. In a bowl I placed some room temperature water. Then I'm going to be rinsing my hands very well. You can then grab a towel to dry your hands. To hydrate my nails I'm going to be using this Burt's Bees hand cream. I like this hand cream a lot because it's very hydrating. You can also give yourself a quick massage by squeezing the palms of your hands and massaging each finger. This will give you a relaxing feel and also it improves circulation in the hand and relieves fatigue. This is an optional step. You can apply any treatment that you have for your nails. I'm going to be using this olive oil treatment for all of my nails. I'm going to apply this onto the cuticle and to the lower part of my fingernails. Then I'm going to massage it very well. Step number six, apply a base coat. You always want to apply a base coat to all of your nails before applying nail polish because this helps protect your nails from staining. Step number seven, apply a nail polish. I'm going to be using this Revlon color. It's called Temptress. be applying two coats of this nail polish just to make the color stand out more. Step number eight, apply a top coat. This is going to help the nail polish color from lasting a little bit longer. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. These are just a couple of steps on how to do an at-home manicure. Thanks for watching.